Hello there guys, welcome to my channel, and today we're back with some more of that Peach Boy Riverside episode 11. Alright guys, so last episode, you know what I'm saying, it is confirmed that, you know what I'm saying, this Sumeragi dude is not trustworthy at all. I've been saying it, this man's been fishy like the whole time, ever since the episode 1 or episode 2. Ever since that big ogre attack, right? Because he was saying something too, I'm pretty sure he was talking that about Sully because you know he was saying bitch something right so I assume he was I'm pretty sure that he's trying to talk about Sully so I don't know and he says he's trying to make sure that ogre and human you know colonize but yeah I, I don't think that's the game of him he's definitely up to something else and he even said around the end where we're headed to the next is also all according to his plan so it's kind of crazy and I know Wayne he also said like you know the path that you guys are going your next locations gun destination is gonna be that place right uh i don't know it's like we having to go this path and no matter what it seems like we're, we're gonna be ending up there so and Simaragi knew that we we're gonna go up there too and it's kind of sad he actually killed that you know uh Tor Toroki, i believe that's what na his name was right the lightning dude lightning ogre so i mean it's sad you know saying i was like okay it's cool finally you know and saying he get to meet carrot and like you know at least he knew carrot was okay and like he should have just stuck with us, to be honest, you know, that way he would have been fine, but he was just trying to do his own way, right, he was, but still, what can I say, he just got, like, killed just like that, it's crazy, but anyway, guys, what else can I say, right, like, literally, so, I'm, I am trusting Sumeragi, dude, okay, I've never, I never had, so, yeah, that is that, and I'm just looking, I just, I'm just looking forward to what is his actually goal, like, what is he trying to accomplish, what is he trying to do, like, you know, say, that's literally what I'm confused about, because he's even, he even had the little, you know, the god goddess, who was pretty crazy, not gonna lie, in playing around his hand. So, can I say? And obviously, Hawthorne out there last episode, pretty cool, not gonna lie, went out there handing him the sword, and would the sword actually belong to Carrot? So, which is pretty, I mean, sorry, Carrot. Uh, Farao, Farao, that's right. So, Farao is something else, for sure, right? And even the goddess was like, that sword is nothing, that's not normal sword, so cut through anything which is pretty crazy now that's the question of even like what is for our like what is she? you know what i'm saying so more questions to be honest with you but anyway guys with that being said let's go ahead and check this episode out let's go okay so we came to wenny's place wait i thought we were going to the another kingdom i mean i would love to be the guest too you know what i'm saying i go la that's right. So, okay. So, it seems like uh, Sully's already met with Wenny first. So, this is taking place. This is already taking place, guys. Here we go. We're back to the time thing again, all right? Yeah, she be freaking stucking on us, eh? Cancer, <laughs> sure. I know what you're saying. Okay, uh, I'm not thinking of Wenny got a thing for her, you know what I'm saying? I said the last episode, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm pretty sure she was worried about Hawthorne. That's why she probably came to make sure that Hawthorne would be okay. But I'm sure she realized that Hawthorne was okay. That's why she decided to maybe save that dude. Okay. When you don't mind teaching her. Okay. Recondition. Okay. Obey me. Yo. Oh, a million what? Money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she expensive, yo. That's right. <laughs> Without any station, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Because money, without money, you you guys, <laughs> y'all ain't staying nowhere, you know what I'm saying? No food, nothing, so. um, <laughs> Come on, exactly. It's definitely good at third play, for sure. Yeah. Especially the way she is now. She ain't even a hot on, unless she unlocks her power. All right. Okay, I can see the oh really average. Okay, Sully, yeah, she got something else. You know that, right? What do you see, Carrot? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I've been freaking confused about Sully since ever since I came across Mikoto. All right, ever since I saw Mikoto, I'm like, who is the real Peach Boy? Cause she's got the Peach thing going on too. Witness what happened. Oh, cuz yeah, when he had it all recorded. <laughs> She's crazy, bro. 
Mexico seems like she showed Hawthorne that you know what Sol is actually capable of. All right. But I okay, I knew it. I mean, where should I pay attention to? So you see, so like, so that makes sense why she had the sword. Wait, wait, wait I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Monster running around. War between humans and them humans. You cast aside your power. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> That's all for our needs, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay later. I mean, she's a princess. It's not a big deal for her, I guess. Paying later. <laughs> you ain't getting the risk, Sully. You're out here on training, all right. <laughs> there you go, that's where <laughs> you'll be pushing yourself. Okay, okay, let's go, Sully. She fired up. <laughs> Taking it easy. When you wait, even when you don't know. Yo, what the hell? What, 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 what? A devil. Ne devil? Sully's a devil? I mean, the power when you say it, right? The people go, okay. I guess so, right? But why she got that peace thing going on then? Okay, you know, when you're remembering the first time, you know, she met. You raised the. Oh, wait, that was not Horton. That was his. What? Your grandson? Wait, what? <laughs> so, what the fuck? So, that was not Horton, guys. I thought it was Horton. So it was Hawthorne's granddad? Okay. Where your grandfather did to me. Okay, so Hawthorne's granddad tried his best to protect Winnie, it seems like. Because, you know, she is a witch after all. She's not looked in a good way by other people. Okay, what's going on? Elves and what? Ooh. Um... By an ogre the other day, yeah. Yeah, I mean, ogres do beyond that, though. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> oh, <man>, oh, <laughs> he does look like a bad dude or an asshole, <laughs> but he's pretty good to listen to, bro. But I was already there. You go. You know what I'm saying? This is when Card was still, you know, feeling that. That's right. You might have heard of him more. Oh, okay. Survivor. <laughs> That's right. You know, the whole place got destroyed. Ooh, Hawthorne's already, you know, say, I mean, this still be happening in war. <laughs> it was right. Stolly, bro. I'm pretty sure that's uh, sister, right? <laughs> oh, what was the name? I forgot. Okay, there you go. So she, I'm pretty sure she got defeated by Sully. I know that, right? Because it's already, we already had a glimpse of it. Hatsuki. Okay, yeah, that's right. Mickey, I mean, Carrot knows about her, obviously. <laughs> no more Mickey, no more. I know. I know. <laughs> Oh, she met. Yo, she met, bro. <laughs> I, knew, I wasn't expecting sister to go all crazy. <laughs> I mean, it was it was not really her, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, she started to kill. Uh, she'll kill everybody, right? Yeah, okay, well, that's how they be doing their stuff, right? Master Sumeragi again, fucking Sumeragi. That fuck what. Okay, she's controlling her hair. And Frau here, all right. Let's go, Frau. I mean, I wanted to. I really want to see, you know, Wayne on action too. To be honest, I know she she is pretty strong, but you know, I really want to see how she fights. Well, she, she hasn't, right? There you go, moving massive tree, <laughs> and it's oh okay, he he, he massive. And that's a high ogre too. Yo, god. Yeah, uh, shit. I thought it was a pretty big ogre, but not a high ogre. Okay, okay. When you trying to hold him off, 
He got awakened. Okay, he was here too. Man, I'm so confused with the timeline right now. Or is he still alive? I don't know, man. Oh, Mikoto is here too. <laughs> this dumbass. Samuragi. Okay. So, okay. Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mikoto. <laughs> this man just like that, man. The real monster, bro. Ooh, wait, this is the first time meeting with him? What the... Okay, Samuragi, you know, you're about to... <laughs> he... Mikuro should have just chopped that, you know, Samuragi dude right there, too. Okay, he wants to kill the witch who sealed him, so I'm assuming he's talking about Wayne, right? Obviously. Okay, so it's going to take time for her to use this spell. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> I mean, that's good. It worked out better for them because they were like already not in good time. They were just here to make sure they protect their place. And the elves were like pretty much planning to abandon all those lizard men. <laughs> Very gent. I'm not a bad way to, you know, sully, but I'm pretty sure that didn't really work out, <laughs> right? All right, guys, another, you know, a little bit confused at the beginning. So, yeah, this is this uh, thing has already taken places, right? So seems like Sully's already met with Winnie and, uh, you know, they've already Sully's already had a little bit of training with Winnie and learned some of the magic and all that. And that's after all that finished, that's when they went to the kingdom where they were having the tournament. Right. And uh, that's where the Toroki and all those fighting actually happened. So we had already came and met with Winnie. And when he had already trained Sully, right? And that's when Sully met with this uh, sister. I forgot what her name was again, all right? Who is actually traveling with Mikoto right now. We know that, right? So that's when they met. So, and when he was the one who even sealed that high ogre, right? The tree dude over there. And uh, it's obviously some raggy out there. This motherfucker wanted to, like he said just then, he was trying to see how strong Sully really is, right? So it's crazy how freaking mixed up it is. It's kind of actually annoying, to be honest with you. And obviously this man, he, he got taken down by Mikoto like it was literally nothing. <laughs> man got chopped like that. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was freaking Samaragi was like so surprised that when he heard the name of Mikoto, obviously that's when this man was sweating. All right, you know what I'm saying? Mikoto had to slash that dude right there. I ain't gonna lie, man. Samaragi, that man is troublesome, bro. You don't know what the fuck he's plotting every single time. But anyway, so I'm pretty sure this is when, like, uh, you know, Sully actually made contact with the ogre that's actually traveling with Mikoto right now. And uh, so this is when it all took place. All right, goddamn. So I'm assuming so Sully did probably, I'm pretty sure, managed to beat them, right? And uh, she didn't really kill them. I'm pretty sure because she's still alive, right? And I think Sully probably did manage to take her horn off or something, maybe. Am I right, guys? But yeah, it, it, it's crazy. So anyway, no, nah, but I don't think she managed to take the horn off. I think she just defeated her and said something, I think. And which is why she's also looking for Sully, the ogre that's actually traveling with Mikoto, right? So she, Sully has kind of like told her something which actually motivates her or like she, she wants to find out more. But anyway, it's it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Just having a little bit of confusion with the freaking timeline and all that, you know what I'm saying? And Horton also found out that, you know, what, is Sully capable of, but still, you know, he, he's been traveling with her for a while already. So he's just putting his trust in Sully, right? So, I mean, if Sully can actually control the power, then that would be great. Cause if she doesn't, then, you know, she be on that monster shit. She don't care who the fuck is in front of her. She'll just, you know, she be going on that, especially the ogres and all that. And still crazy. So even I thought Wayne might know the source of, you know, her power. Even she don't know. So I don't know. At this point, I'm just lost with Sully what she is. And Wayne didn't really hand it Farao, the actual weapon of Farao. She just gave her that one of those mallet. I don't know. I guess maybe Farao just doesn't really want the weapon back. I don't know. There must be something reason. Or maybe at that time, Wayne didn't have the sword. 
you see the timeline, man. I gotta like, it's crazy. I'm already having a hard time trying to figure out what the power of Sully is, what is going on, and all that. And I gotta still put the timeline place to place. And I, I need to understand, okay, this took place before this, and this took place before this. Yeah, they, they're making our job a lot difficult is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys did like this small reaction. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.